And here it is, the uh, Tamiya Komatsu G40 Japanese Bulldozer. This is my vignette that I made, 148 scale. Um, I'm gonna talk about it here a little bit, how it was done, and uh, get a little bit of a step-by-step. -step. Uh, let's talk about the model kit. Um, the kit itself is really nice. It's pretty basic, it's not a lot of parts. Uh, I built it straight out of the box, except for these hydraulic lines. I added wires to the shapes of the kits. Obviously I took the kit parts off or didn't, didn't add them. And then around the wires, I wrapped solder, small diameter solder that you use for soldering electronics. And it was wrapped around to give that effect. And that was the only thing that I did to the kit that was different, just to add a little more interest and realism. For the figure, I, um, I didn't want him to look like the standard figure that came with it. And you know, there's not a lot of 148 scale Japanese figures. So what I did is I altered him a little bit by, I wanted him to lean over the side uh, to be looking kind of around because when you're working in a uh, bulldozer like this, you can't see over the top. As you can see, it's hard to see over the top of what you're actually running into. And a lot of times, and I've been on big mowers and stuff, you look around the side to see about where you're at. So I've got him looking around the side there. And it was just a slight conversion of his hips and his arms because I wanted his hand to touch and grab onto the side of the seat just to be a little bit more convincing. And... Uh, that's it for the uh, the model itself. Now, I started off with a base, which is one of these three and a half by three and a half cube, clear cube box. Uh, I think for fo you can stick photos in it and get them at the craft stores. And obviously I've painted it flat black and I mask it off. And then I start laying out my vignette, small diorama. Uh, let's see, the model was just painted black first and then it was sprayed with a gray. I think I just mixed white and black together to give a gray color. And I worked my step-by-step -step, uh, finishing on that, going from dark to lighter, and then with washes of oil and uh, different colors. The pastels were put on wet, mixed with terpenoid and they were actually put onto the different surfaces to look like sand once they dried. So the pastels were ground up, mixed in a little cup, and then put on wet, like a wash almost. But you have to be very careful. A little bit goes a long ways. It was also the wash was put on the groundwork here. And the groundwork is a and B Sculpey putty, and I just put it on top, maneuver it out with my fingers where I want everything to go, set up a little section here where it's higher on this side because obviously the bulldozer's pushing the dirt uh, in that direction. So once the Sculpey's dry, then I added, I added texture first with a toothbrush, and then I pressed in just some pebbles and some uh, foliage, grass, uh, just little sticks broke up where he's already run over stuff and torn it up. And then the groundwork, first I put in some photo etched foliage that I had. And there's some moss over here and different types of photo, photo etched. And then the static grass around that so everything is, is in place. Um, the bamboo are just small plastic rods and I, I wrapped sprue around them. I did some stretch sprue and I, I wrapped the sprue around them and I could have I done a lot better, more consistent, but it gives it a little bit of a look 
of the bamboo and then the the leaves are photo etch leaves that they come on a plant and I just cut them and then just added them like that. So once everything's groundwork's on there done, like I said, everything's painted on the base. I sprayed the the groundwork, I sprayed the the color of the the tractor, the bulldozer, and then everything was painted and, and then weathered right on the base. You can see it, you can paint it. The only thing that I didn't add was the figure, put him on last. But once everything's painted, and like I said, the weathering process for the, the bulldozer, and you can see places here where there's pastels and I put them on wet. If you look at my uh, M35 medium uh, armored car Panzer wagon, um, you'll see more of the effects of the pastels, how I use them here as wet. So then uh, let's see, the groundwork is painted with artist oils. First with dry brushing on the grass and then I, since the photo etched parts are painted in somewhat green color, then I just start painting over those with artist oils. Just hitting them with some green and then some yellow highlights. And like I said, almost like working on a canvas. And uh, it's pretty effective, I think. It looks pretty cool. So doing it this way by painting everything actually on the model really brings everything together in a cohesive way to look like it's really in the dirt there pushing. So I really like that. And to me, it's easier working all in one piece like a canvas, like a piece of art. But I was really happy with this. It turned out well. Uh, it's a nice little vignette. I saw something like this, I think at a model show, it was a a European show or something online where I was watching the slideshow somebody had taken of a show and it, it had something like this and it it really caught my eye and I was like okay I, I'm gonna do something like that one day and I'd been wanting to do a bulldozer because you can dirty them up pretty good and I really like the way the sand is picked up here which like I said first I uh I did add with some super glue I sprinkled on some really fine sand and where the tracks are. And then when I painted everything, I put washes of rust on the tracks. And once everything dried, then once I started doing the weathering and the pastels on it, it just gives it a really, really cool look of like the dirt that's been falling on the places of the vehicle. And uh, everybody's like, how, how do you paint it on there? Well, like I said, the tracks are just wash. It's just a wash uh, that I made up with pastels, rust colored pastels, mixed with turpenoid and just put it on the tracks. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, like I said, once you start doing the other weathering, everything kind of just falls together and fills in the voids. So you don't see any little bit of over uh, painting or under painting. It just, it, it, it all works together. And pastels were also mixed, the rust colored pastels were mixed in the turpenoid and I put it on these hydraulic lines because they were supposed to be that color. Overall, like I said, it's a great kit. I recommend it for a small build just to have some fun. Practice weathering on, put a, a scene probably with a 148 scale uh, Japanese Zero at an airfield, something like that would be really cool. And there it is, 148 scale vignette. If you have any comments, please leave them. I'd love to answer any questions about my work. Thanks for watching.